Okay, so for today's video, I thought I'd discuss the fact that um, during pandemics and things like that, uh, some of my students uh, who are taking online are complaining they don't have anyone to play with, they don't have a way to keep time, work on their solos, um, see if they're in rhythm, and um, I'll tell you the truth. I had that same problem when I was first starting to improvise, and a good friend of mine told me to just clog or flat foot while I was playing, and then that would be my rhythm machine. And uh, it sounds crazy, but actually it's a great idea. So I thought we'd just discuss that today. Um, and you don't have to know how to do the whole flat footing or clogging thing. There's a lot of different degrees which we can do it. So, um, and you can do it with a guitar, or you can do it with a mandolin or a ukulele or whatever instrument you're with. Um, so you can start by just like, just walking. If you're, if you're not someone that has a lot of other moves, you know. Okay, so that's that's a great way. You can march. I've had um, some of my students where I said, just walk in time while you're playing. And that's a great way to know if you're on time because your, your feet will be kind of honest with you. Um, now, again, a lot of people are taught that they need to tap their toe to keep rhythm when they're playing, and that's a great thing. Um, it doesn't always work best for everybody. Some people, they tap their heel. Some people, they groove their neck. Definitely mandolin players, bass players, we all have groove neck that's pretty serious. Um, um, and then there's the Canadians that do different types of things with their feet, uh, which just become automatic after a while, too, as you're playing. So uh, we can get into that, too. Um, I would say if you are able to do a little bit of flat footing, you can just do step, ball, step, step, ball, step, while you're playing, that'll work. Uh, let's see. Uh, for flat, well, for clogging, we can just do a shuffle in there with just this part of our toe. Shuffle, step, ball, change. Shuffle, step, ball, change. Um, and you can even just do shuff, shuffle, step, um, or just shuffle, shuffle, step, shuffle, step. There's a lot of things you can do. You don't have to hold completely still uh, to to play tunes. Um, and you know, if, if there's like a really long lockdown or whatever, you know, it, it can actually be not good for your health to just sit and play holding really still. You know, you can get weight gain or other other issues. So um, anyway, feel free to, to move about. Even I have to say, for some people, just even just like swinging back and forth can be a great way to keep time. you want to really get uh, some looks and do party tricks, you can always do this while playing behind your head. There, there's hand boating, there's clogging, there's flat footing, there's buck stepping, there's all sorts of great things. And you can feel free to incorporate um, any of the things that you know in together. Um, uh, Cause hey, it's all music, right? Um, so anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, winded, which means I got a little bit of exercise at the same time as I was playing. So 
Get that full body workout, right? Exercise your fingers, your arms, your legs, your abs, whatnot. Um, anyway, just thought that would be kind of fun. Um, anyway, so if you want any more, you have any more questions about anything like that, or um, any questions about the mandolin, guitar, ukulele, or any of the other things I teach, just feel free to look me up at tarlinhart.com and uh, contact me. Maybe I'll help you out. Okay, see you later. Bye.